Today in our 2001 GMC Sierra, we'll be installing the Pollock fifth wheel and gooseneck trailer connector, part number PK11893-11932. Now to begin our install, we'll first go ahead and find a location to mount the new seven pole connector and drill out our hole. In our pickup bed on the driver's side, just behind the rear wheel well is a good location. Using a two inch hole saw bit, we'll go ahead and drill out our hole. Now in order to get our wiring harness fed from underneath and up through our hole, we'll need to remove the two fasteners that secure the mud guard here behind the wheel well. There's one just on the inside of the wheel well lip and one underneath the taillight area. Once we have the fasteners are out, we can go ahead and pull the guard down. Now that we have the wire fed into position, we'll move back to the pickup bed where we'll install the wires into the back of the connector. Now when installing our wires, each connector is faintly marked with a number. Starting here by the gray locking tab is the one. Then the largest connector of all will be the two, which will be our white wire for ground. The color code we'll be using will be the same one that'll match the end of our T connector on the other side of our harness. So starting at the number one position, right next to our white wire, is the red. So we'll plug the red wire into the number one position. The wire will push, click, lock in, place. I'm going to follow that with our white wire in the number two position. Third position will be our blue wire. Fourth position is the green wire. Now before I install the remaining two wires here on the outside, I'm going to go ahead and install the center pin, which will be yellow. Then after green on the outside will be black, and then finally brown. Now with all the wires in place, We'll install the blue locking ring to secure them in position. Now all our wires are locked in place. Before I plug the harness into the back of our new seven pole connector, I'm going to apply some dielectric grease. Dielectric grease will help prevent corrosion that can build up over time. Then we'll go ahead and line up our locking tabs, connect the wiring, and lock it in place. Next, we'll mount the seven blade connector here directly to the bedside using self-tapping screws. Now with the connector mounted, we'll move back underneath the vehicle where we can route the wiring harness behind the bumper over to the manufacturer's seven pole connector. Once we have the wire routed into position, we'll need to remove the manufacturer's seven pole connector harness from the back of the seven pole connector. We'll press on the locking tab and separate the two. We'll go ahead and apply some dielectric grease on the manufacturer's wiring and our new connector. The T connector will plug in line with the manufacturer's wiring. And then the socket connector will go into the back of the seven pole connector. Now we'll go ahead and take some zip ties and secure our wiring as necessary. Next we'll go ahead and cut off the excess from the zip ties to clean up our install look. Now with all our wiring installed and secured, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of the Pollock fifth wheel and gooseneck trailer T connector, part number PK11893-11932. On our 2001 GMC Sierra.